Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to some more Minecraft. This is Soap the Great, and today we're starting something new, and I hesitate doing this because we've got some other series going on on the channel, and I really want to get those done. But I saw this, and I had to jump in, and I had an idea. So, um, yeah, I, I saw somebody else playing this. This is the One Man, One Mod Mod Pack by Teddy here and DadCraft73. And we're going to take a stab at it ourselves. Now, I'm getting ready to start the world. I'm not going to show you the seed I've picked. I'm not going to show you some of the other stuff that I've chosen. Because we're just going to jump right into it and get started, okay? So we'll create the world. It's a fairly light mod pack. It's got 20 mods. The main content mod are around 20 mods. And the link is in the description box below. You can find it. It's got just one content mod. And that is Immersive Engineering. So we are going to be playing around with it. Now... You can see something off off to the side there. So um, so yeah, we're um, we're we're in not the seed that Dadcraft has been doing. We are in uh, we're in our own little seed, and I'm not going to share that seed with you because I don't want you spoiling things just in case you decide to do that. So let's, let's take a look here, and we'll we'll just do the standard get started thing. And, and we'll have to work through this. I'm not going to take you along for all of it, but I do want to work, uh, you know, just do some of this stuff on camera with you for the time being while we explain what's going to be going on. So I saw Dadcraft. I was watching him do this thing, and you can take a look at what he's doing on that as well. A link to his series on this, on this mod pack will be in the description box below. So I do encourage you to go check that out. He's going to be a little bit more thorough in his coverage of immersive engineering. My goal really is just a couple of things. One thing I will tell you about and one thing I won't tell you about. I was watching him do something the other day and and I just thought, you know what? I am gonna play that pack and I'm going to do it in, and you can see it now, uh, we did not do standard generation. We did amplified. So yes, this is an amplified world. This is a seed that I have found or had found while looking up some other stuff uh, that has not come to fruition on the channel quite yet. But I was thinking, you know what? It would be really cool to mix up uh, that one particular thing I saw on his channel, on his, his episode, and uh, with an amplified world. If you can figure out what it is I'm talking about, good on you. I've not given you many hints, but I just thought, you know what? That's going to be really good for Amplified. And I think Immersive Engineering would be really good for Amplified because... Well, I don't know, just the tall, uh, the tall vistas and everything all around really makes for, uh, makes for a good steampunky type build. Now, we do need to be replanting this while we're at it. Hopefully, you can't hear too much in the background, the noise. I've got the windows open because, well, it has gotten that time of year. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's gotten warm. So, the air conditioner is no longer on. And, and we'll see. It's still, it's still kind of early in in the year, um, or well, it's late in March. Now, what am I doing here? Well, we've got to punch grass so we can get some hemp seeds. And that's uh, that's one thing we've got to do. We've got the one probe in here. We've got that. Okay, probably should make, make some sticks. Okay, we don't have that one. Let's just turn all of that into planks. We'll get some sticks going, and then we'll throw down our our crafting bench here and let's make a quick just uh an axe or pickaxe here let's do that and see if we can go get some of this lovely cobblestone all right so what is the intent here all right i want to make sure that i leave this somewhat um you know somewhat pristine we've got some zombies close by that's not good all right so our first order of business here in this First episode, we need to get secure in our person, and we need to, uh, yeah, that's the main thing. We need to find some shelter, so we'll get the basics going here, and then we'll find some shelter. Um, and uh, I want to make sure I leave this somewhat pristine here, not uh, not completely destroy the landscape. And then, uh, and then what we're going to do is work towards our... Our, our basic stuff that we need here in uh, Immersive Engineering. So uh, by the end of this episode, we should have the Coke oven. 
And the blast, well, we'll see about the blast furnace. That requires going to the nether. So I don't know how, how likely we are to get that. But uh, we do need to get some hemp going and we need to get, uh, get some food production online as well. So uh, we're going to be doing that. There we go. We got, got hemp already. I think we'll probably hang out down by the coast for a little bit while, um, uh, while we get started here. And that's because we've got water around and uh, I don't know if we can more easily defend the coast or not, but but yeah, anyway, we've got two seeds and then we've got some hemp as well. So I think we're off to a pretty good start. Let me see about getting some, uh, we'll just punch some more grass here and then we'll get some, some of these saplings up here so that we, uh, we can take those to the coast with us. Let's grab that one and then, and then over here. So uh, you've seen the start of these mod uh, mod or Minecraft startups. You've you've seen it, okay? Or you've probably seen it. Um, I've done some of the basics here. We got to get better tooling going, and then uh, that's no different than than in vanilla. So same with same with modded, okay? So you gotta gotta put in the work. All right, you get anything out of that one? No. Okay, and can we survive? Oh. Probably should be careful about that. Ooh, there we go. Sugarcane is good. Okay. And um, and yeah, so right now it's just some basic uh, basic setup stuff. I'm going to find some shelter, probably dig in a little hole and get mining, and then we'll go from there. But uh, I'll bring you back once we've got a pretty good hidey hole set up, and then, um, uh, well, once we've started towards our coke oven back in a bit and we're back and for the more astute amongst you you may notice a few differences first i'm rocking some wheat i've also got some armor points on me and I'm, i've got a shield and then the mini map you can see behind me there's a village yeah yeah i've gone on a little adventure we're not on the survival island anymore we will get back there don't you worry but i figured i would bring you back for just this little progress update now for the most part i am not going to be doing any adventuring with you on on this series it's not going to be a very long series we'll talk more about it once we get back i've got all the parts or all the materials necessary for the coke oven and the alloy kiln and we still got to get to the nether for the uh, what is it the blast furnace but um but yeah i decided to come out on an adventure because we've got a desert over there and based on watching dadcraft stuff i need some cactus so i'm gonna go get some cactus but i happened across this village and i got an iron pick right there and i've also found some uh, one of these here immersive engineering buildings and so i figured i would bring you back to show you this so that you don't wonder where in the world i got all this stuff from so uh, with these things it's pretty cool we can chuck some of these items in here some of the really good stuff and then we can just pick these up actually i've got an axe on me and there we go and that means that we can carry stuff with us so we've got some portable storage and i am going to ransack this building here and we're going to uh let's see if we can get that yes and we got the achievement as well so i'm going to ransack this building all the brick all of the treated wood every bit of it well maybe not this wood um like the oak and stuff but but yeah we're going to do that i'm going to go over to the desert and then i will speak with you again back at the ranch uh, assuming something interesting does not happen. See you in a bit. Well, it certainly is difficult to cross amplified terrain, but then you know what? You're treated to to generation like this. Look at that. Man, oh man. It's been a while since I've been in amplified. I am enjoying it. Anyway, I'll see you back at the island. Oh, home again, home again. Jiggity jig. Here we are back on the survival island. Yes, we've got one of these ocean monuments close by. We are not going to do much with it. We might clear out the Elder Guardians, maybe, and see if there's any sponge rooms, but we are probably going to try and use that island. So I guess we will have to clear out the Elder Guardians because it's kind of close and they might cause us some trouble. Now, um, we've had, we've done some work. I've done some work off camera because I'm not bringing you along for a vanilla 
aspect of, of this mod pack. No, we're going to be doing the immersive engineering thing. And so I've taken care of a lot, a lot of the infrastructure already. So one of the things that you need in, in immersive engineering is you need hemp. And we've got industrial hemp growing right here. And you just need to go along and harvest it every now and then. And eventually we'll get to an automated version of harvesting. But, but yeah, there we go. So I wanted to show you kind of this setup here uh, that, that we've taken care of off camera. And most of the most of the vanilla kind of stuff, vanilla experience, the survival experience, we're going to be taking care of off camera. Okay. So uh, similar with the exploration, but I figured I'd bring you along to show you what we uh, what we did with that particular exploration. But now we're home and we need to take a look. I need to stop doing this. It's kind of it's kind of addicting. So over here we've got our uh, a little bit of a storage area and we've got to stop storing stuff in here and get to a more permanent base. This is a hidey hole and we're going to not be living here long term. So so yeah, I've got to I've got to be careful. I'm we'll, we'll be making good use of these wooden storage crates to move everything up to the top of the island. I've already got it. Do we have Optifine? No Optifine. Okay. So I, I can't do my cheaty zoom key, but We've got some cows here and we got some sheep and it's probably time to breed all of those guys up and anything else we got sugarcane going and then on the journey that we just took we made sure to pick up some potatoes and carrots so let's take a look overall at what we've got here yep got uh, a couple different types of flowers and then some more hemp seeds got the cactus so we can get that planted and then pumpkin well, we'll take care of most of this off camera, but at at least we'll get some cactus growing uh, right there. There we go. OK, so the cactus farm is now in place. We've got some chickens down here producing eggs, which is a good thing. And then, yeah, so I showed you the natural stuff. We picked up some spruce saplings, birch saplings, which we've already got on the island, but I figured why not? Uh, acacia saplings did not. Oh. I passed by a dark oak forest and I did not pick up any of those, but that's fine. No problem. And then we've got some mob drops here. We'll cook, cook up the raw beef there and uh, make use of that. And speaking of which, there we go. Okay. Over here, just some more stuff that we pulled out of the chest. I found another village in the desert that I was going to. The iron sword I built beforehand, so I shouldn't count it as part of the loot here, but we do have an iron pick so I can show you something i found down in the mines got some different wood types there got a bunch of clay because we're going to need it for some of the stuff we need in immersive engineering and this island does not have a lot of clay on it so i found a swamp and just sat in there for a little while but here's the full loot from the villages we got a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff so uh, this is going to help us out got some copper ore got some bauxite ore which is aluminium uh, I figured, you know what, if I saw it, I, I should get it because, again, uh, it generates, it, it shows you here, generates between Y level 64 and 37. Well, uh, the ocean goes down to Y level 30. So that means that at those levels that we're looking for both of these items, oh, well, 80 and 39, I guess we can get some bauxite higher up. But uh, at, at most of those levels, we're running into ocean. So uh, we're, we're going to have to take the copper as we find it, wherever that may be now. Uh, what I want to do is I got brick, I've got some clay, and then I've got some sandstone somewhere around here. Got a more sandstone, okay. And we can make the alloy or kiln brick. So let's do that. Kiln brick, we need to make um, eight of these, right? Uh, I should have making better note of that. Okay, and then the sandstone. Okay, so we can do that. And then what we need to do is the Coke brick. Okay. And oh my goodness, that is pretty, pretty expensive. Let's do this again. Okay, let's put as much in there as possible. We need to get 27. We got that. Oh, phone, phone's ringing back in a bit. All right, we're back. We need 27 of these Coke brick. And just a quick heads up, my father-in-law 
Uh, my wife just let me know he got into a car accident. He's all right. Uh, the car is going to have to get towed, though. So, um, so yeah, that's that's a bit of a bummer. But I am going to have to take a break here soon and go, uh, go, um, go uh, help help my wife out with what she's working on. So uh, let's see if we can finish this up real quick. We've got a couple of things we need to build, and nighttime. Nighttime is upon us. It's getting close to upon us, but it's not quite. So uh, we will build the Coke oven and the kiln in just a moment. Let's grab out the engineer's hammer. So we're going to do that. And I want to bring you down to the mines for just a little bit. This is a standard, just a standard thing that that you go through in, in most Minecraft uh, playthroughs. You have to do this, okay? You just have to. And and you probably can guess what that is. So here's the mines. This is not quite the permanent set of mines that I want. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to grab this. Yeah, we need some gold. Yeah, there's gold. More. There's gold in them our hills. All right. So we'll grab this. And then let's see. Yeah. Okay. We don't need the shield on. We do need that in place. Okay. Now, you can probably guess what we're about to do. This is very important because uh, I'm going to have to go back through here, actually. There's a lot of different ores that are uh, diamond, diamond level only. See that right there? Silver ore. So I'm going to have to use the iron pickaxe on that. So let's do this. Excellent. So now we have diamonds. Diamonds are soaps. Well, maybe not best friend, but they're very, very useful. And they're going to be useful for what we need to do next. So we've got what, two there. Oh, my goodness. We need to, um, well, I'll, I'll come clean this up uh, later. But we've got some more diamonds elsewhere. Somewhere in here, we've got some lapis. We'll get that. I ran into some more along the way. We'll have to get the iron or the redstone. Yeah, okay. More lapis. We've got, what is that, lead? Yep, and somewhere around here. I knew there were, there we go. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Make sure we can go get ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Excellent. All right, so we've got, we've got a few diamonds here. Yep, got six diamonds. Okay, I think we're good for now. There's more that way. But, but yeah, I just wanted to bring you along for that because, yeah, that's, um, that's just, that's just what I do. So, um, what I need to do is go back upstairs and we will go to where we're going to be setting up our actual base. I will meet you up there. All right. Uh, we're back up here in the Heidi Hall. I want to take care of one more thing before we go up to where I'm ultimately going to build the main base. Okay. We need to build this jerry can because... The Coke oven is going to make a, a byproduct called creosote, and we need to have a way of storing that and getting that out of the Coke oven so that it can continue processing. And for now, since we don't have, I don't want to go full on using up all my ores for something like a big tank, which you can do here in immersive engineering. So we're going to build something called the jerry can, and that's going to take four buckets, which is rather, rather expensive if I do say so, but uh, there goes that iron. And then we want to take and our engineer's hammer and make four iron plates like so. And you notice that the engineer's hammer takes a little bit of a durability hit on that. So we'll take this and boom, we got our jerry can. We've got our kiln brick, got our coke brick. Now let's climb the island. Okay, I've also got some glass that I've smelted up. We're not going to be putting that down. I... I shouldn't have brought it with me. I did not want to do that. I wanted to jump, but oh well. Let's go up top here like so. Hopefully we don't run into any baddies. I want, overall, I want this whole island to be, um, well, we're going to get rid of the torches eventually, but I want it to be uh, kind of like a little steampunk island. And, and I think that I did not do a good job of talking to you about my ultimate goals here 
on that first clip when we were introducing the series. So I've got two major goals that we're going to be doing here. The first one is going to be we're actually going to end when we defeat the Ender Dragon, but we've got to defeat it in a certain way, and that's an, an immersive engineering way, and that's with the Railgun. There is a specific advancement for that, and we are going to pursue that advancement. Um, I didn't want to do that either. Come on. Okay, so um, we've got... Uh, I'm going to put a house off camera. I'm going to put a house up top, but then our main uh, part of the base is going to be here in this cave, which goes... Uh, it's, it's got a pretty good, um, pretty good set of, of catacombs down here. So we'll have to have to be careful watching for baddies spawning. But I want to set up the base in here, which means we are going to actually put our Coke oven in. You know what? I reserve the right to change up where it's going to go. So you know what? Let's use the iron pick. We're going to be fancy because... It's a little bit faster. So we'll do this. We'll clear out a nine or a three by three area, which is 27 total bricks. And we're going to put the Coke oven in here and we'll probably put the blast furnace next to it once that time comes. So we take our Coke brick and just fill it in three by three by three. And we don't leave the middle open. It's a solid, solid block of Coke brick right there. And then we take our engineer's hammer and right click and there we go we should be able to now right click and we get an interface and i am going to start by putting some coal in there that's going to make coke and then also some creosote and we will have to put the jerry can in here to uh, to empty that out now next order of business is maybe over here we'll put our alloy kiln and there we go there we go okay and then let's do that and that. Okay, so the other order of business, same thing here, right click and there we go. We can't use it yet because we need Coke for that. So that's why I'm getting this thing going. We've got our industrial hemp started. So we've got a decent amount there. I need to move most everything from there up to here. This is going to be our base. We're going to fill in with glass and I'm going to be using white stained glass, which means we need to come up with some sort of a mob farm. But, but yeah, the other goal for this series is really just to play around with immersive engineering without any other mods available. See, I started out on Direwolf 20 with doing immersive engineering, but um, we kind of got sidetracked there, but we have no other content mods. We've got to do it all with immersive engineering here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to build a house up here. I'm not quite sure what design. I'm going to do that off camera. We're not here to, to do a lot of building. We're here to play with immersive engineering. And so uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Immersive engineering projects the whole time. And um, and really, we're not going to be doing the vanilla stuff. So uh, probably no more exploration. I think I've pretty much done that. Anything else, probably going to be doing that off camera. Do let me know what you think about this thing. If you want more of a tutorial type deal and you want a, a more of a walkthrough, go check out Dad Crafts walk through his his series on this and there's a link to that in the description box below i would encourage you to do that it's highly entertaining he goes in depth with it and i would uh yeah i'm enjoying watching it and and really the main thing here is for me to play around with immersive engineering in amplified because it's a steampunky type mod and these amplified hills just lend themselves to steampunky type builds so that's what we're going to do we're going to turn this into a steampunk survival island and we're going to do it all with immersive engineering. So anyway, that is it for for today. Um, and how often these things happen, I don't know. I probably should have stayed close to the Coke oven and alloy kiln, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's, uh, let's turn around here with our shiny, well, it's not really shiny, iron armor. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. Next time we're together, we're going to hopefully get, yeah, we'll go to the nether next time. I'm not going to do that off camera. We'll go to the nether next time. We will get, uh, get prepared for the blast furnace and get steel production going. And then we'll probably look at some basic RF. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed again. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.